Well, I'm, I'm trying to uh, trying to get some dialogue with the, the same-sex community and their supporters, uh, trying to show uh, why we uh, disagree and think it might be uh, an issue. Uh, yes, they have a right to love who they want. However, the marriage issue, that's, that's where we kind of uh, uh, divide uh, uh, lines on. So I come out to these functions to try to talk with people. It's, it's a little comical uh, uh, argument that uh, uh, same-sex supporters support alternative marriage, but they don't support alternative spelling. And if we're for equality for everything, then we should allow, uh, since we know kids spell wrong, they should be, if they're born spelling wrong, then they should have a right to spell incorrectly. Uh, well, I drove up to San Francisco and uh, went out into, with my sign in, in front of the, uh, uh, the courthouse uh, to uh, uh, make some kind of statement. You know, seven million people voted uh, under what they call the democratic way. And uh, one judge is going to overturn seven million voters. How, how is that possible? That's, that's why we had a concern about it. I think, I think that, I'd have, I'd have to look at it again, but I think that's uh, mainly for, uh, was dealing with the slave issue uh, because uh, today gay people can do anything that blacks couldn't do <laughs> during slavery. Uh, they can vote. They can go to school, they can do all the things, and they're trying to incorporate that, which I think is mis being misapplied. So that uh, equal uh, clause is, I think, misrepresented. Uh, uh, we're hoping that the, the voice of the people will stand. They, we voted for uh, traditional marriage in California. The, the, the California Supreme Court supported that six to one. So we're still wondering why are they, why, I mean, I know they want to take it up to the U.S. Supreme Court, and I believe that uh, even there it's going to uh, be upheld, traditional marriage. Yeah, I'd have to look into that, so I can't speak too uh, uh, more authoritative on that one, but uh, I think it's, I'm, I'm just concerned because it's, it's not just one person against one person, it's, it's several million people. Uh, against uh, uh, the elected officials, that, and we know elected officials hardly listen to uh, uh, the people. So then that 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 creates another issue. So I, I can't I can't really respond to that. Then well, I, I, I mean I still hold I still hold the same view. Uh, I think marriage is between a man and a woman, and uh, there's nothing there there would be nothing I could do unless we uh, pursue it legally, as usually is happening. Uh, just as the other side pursues constantly legally uh, that when they think something is done inappropriate or wrong, they continue to pursue things too. So um, I, I couldn't tell you. I still love the people and still tell them, you know, they're, uh, I don't believe they're born that way. I don't believe there's evidence to, to support that. And, and for that reason, if they could show there, there's some evidence, then that might be another issue. And I know you haven't asked that question, but so I couldn't, I guess I couldn't respond really too much to that. I, I have no idea why they presented what they presented. I don't know the, the ins and out of that, who they were allowed to, to bring. I guess the best thing to be would be to talk with uh, them uh, personally and see what, what their res answer, response uh, to that would be. Since uh, marriage is designated as being a man and a woman, and that's been the uh, official title uh, for marriage, uh, I guess they would have to come up with some other uh, uh, law to allow them, uh, without being married, to be able to have access to some things. I don't know, somebody asked me that earlier too, I don't know uh, to what extent that would be. That would have to be set down and discussed between the different uh, parties about because I, I believe a person should have a right to see whoever they want in the hospital, yeah. to bequeath their stuff to whoever they want. Uh, that's one issue, as, but however, with uh, the, the Social Security and all these other uh, issues, that would be something else that would have to be uh, dealt with, I, I believe. But as far as I, if someone is gay, owns property, and they want to give it to somebody, they should have a right to do that. If someone's gay and they want somebody to visit them in the hospital, they shouldn't be denied that. I would. I would defend and support that.
because they're human beings, they have people that love, they have a right. But marriage is defined. That's why certain age groups can't marry either because uh, even if they say, well, I love somebody, you say, well, marriage is usually we're still defined as uh, consenting adults. I'm saying since marriage is defined as, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think homosexuals should marry. So whatever institution they would, I mean, they've already gotten uh, civil unions or the partner, domestic partnership that allows them some uh, stuff. I don't know if we level the playing field. That's the, that's the issue. Do we level the playing field if marriages, because usually, usually, you, usually we encourage people in a certain behavior by uh, influence it by, by tax dollars. When you want a certain behavior, you pay people with tax dollars. And uh, so it doesn't matter whether it's right or wrong, if people want something to happen and they fund, put money in it, then they're, go they're, gonna, they're gonna do it because they're gonna benefit from it. That's why people aren't getting married, even heterosexuals aren't getting married because they get a better tax break by not being married. So when the government supports these things, it encourages certain behavior. So if the government is going to support gay marriage, then they're gonna do things to encourage the behavior. And it's usually money that works in that way. Then they're gonna, they're gonna fund it with the taxpayer dollars. Well, because they're gonna be teaching it, you'll start teaching it, saying it, it is a, it is a, it is a, a normal lifestyle, a normal uh, relationship, and our children have to be taught that also. Because if it's if it's wrong to deny them, then it'd be wrong to teach children that it's not right. So they'd have to spend money to the to the uh, the, the schools to say this is an alternative lifestyle and it's supposed to be accepted, and the and the funds are going to support uh, teaching that. That's oh, I don't know how much funds. No, I don't know. Bigger. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just know usually when uh, something becomes legal by the government, it funds the things to promote it. It would be stupid to do it other way. Even with the even with the when the separate but equal happened, separate but not equal was uh, struck down. Uh, uh, whites could not say we're not going to allow you in our schools even though that was their personal opinion. The government said no you will and here's some incentives to encourage that you know kind of uh, they don't say it like that of course but you know they're gonna say well see if since you're going along with this uh, we will give you a little money or something not personally but as a, as a school system and program at the public school system so that's what we're that's what we're talking about. Oh, I just want the homosexual community to know that we're not bigots. We disagree with them vehemently. We disagree with them. The marriage is between a man and a woman only, and we love them. We're not bigoted. We're not. I'm not saying some people may, but we love them as human beings, and I think we should treat them respectfully as human beings. Uh, they're, they're, we're all from one race, all one family. So as a human being to another human being, we should treat people respectfully. But that does not justify the right to marry, I would say. And I would debate anyone on this issue publicly in a forum that would be willing to do that.